is it possible to uh, regulate this industry and to without you know spoiling the goose that laid the golden egg? Well, I mean, I, uh, I come from Texas where we've had oil and gas production for a century, and I mean, I think of when I think about fracking. I mean, we've been perforating wells. Perforating is vertical. Fracking is the horizontal version of that. Yes, there's more power and more explosives involved to a degree, but we've done this for a century. We've done well bore casings for a century. If a state doesn't have the proper regulatory over, uh, oversight, like the Railroad Commission would be the one in Texas. I happened to work there two decades ago. But you know, that stuff is you know, highly overseen by qualified technical staff who, quite frankly, just do the right thing because they've got to live in that world. And yes, it's, it's possible. I think anything's possible. I mean, I think of the methane issue. I have to just react to that one. I mean, there is more bovine methane coming from other parts of the body and alimentary canal than <laughs> we're going to ever have to worry about in, in leaking pipelines. I mean, the pipeline issue came up when I was at FERC. There are tremendous issues that go with safety on that, but we have a very good, in that case, a good federal apparatus to oversee safety. But the leakage of methane, yes, I think there is some. Um, the pipeline systems uh, at, the mo at the smallest diameter, closest to the well, in the more kind of unincorporated drilling areas tend to be uh, you know, pretty, pretty small. Kind of mm -hmm. Some of them are above ground. Uh, they're not necessarily long-term uh, pipeline systems, but there could be some in the production process itself a little bit. But I th again, compared to what we're getting out of the agricultural sector, I think the methane worries here are small and certainly smaller than what happens when the world does warm up and the Arctic starts releasing all of its methane. Yeah. So I, I think there are, there are more important issues here to worry about than methane leakage. Mike? Yeah, so what we're talking about, yeah, we broke 7,500 temperature records in the month of March alone. The period January, February, and March is the hottest on record. Uh, the methane that's associated with the production of fracking uh, can very well make it worse than coal as a dominant source of our energy supply. So uh, to, to casually say it's not a big problem when we're thinking about how do we power our entire economy is pretty reckless. You know, so the other thing that I'll say sorry. is that we don't have an effective regulatory regime in the U.S. when it comes to fracking. We don't have it at the state level. The gas industry enjoys loopholes in the Safe Drinking Water Act, multiple loopholes in the Clean Air Act and Clean Water Act and RICRA. So you've got a regulatory system which perhaps over the last century has been well developed for oil extraction. But when it comes to gas, most of the laws that we would use in the environmental community to hold your industry accountable don't apply.